Here's the wrong way to solve this question. So you start by saying 200 minus 1 plus 199. So you say, okay, so first of all, I'll add 1 and 199, and that will give me 200. Then after that, I will have 200, this one, minus 200. Then that will give me 0. If you solve it this way, you are wrong. Let me show you the reason why. So you know from the question is what? 200 minus 1. So this is a negative number, negative 1. So saying 1 plus 199 is wrong because this is a negative number. So you cannot just get rid of the negative sign. So rewriting this, I can rewrite this this way. This is positive 200. So it's going to be 200. And this is also positive 199. So positive 199. Then this one is what? Negative 1. So wherever the 1 goes, the negative must follow because it is a negative number. So when you have this in mind, you will never get this question wrong. So the correct way of solving this will be to follow the order of operation. Anytime it comes to dealing with addition and subtraction, you just follow the order of operation. Okay. So following the order of operation, we have 200 minus 1 plus 199. So I'm going to deal with these two first. So it's going to give me... 199 plus 199 and that will give me 398 or if you don't want to follow the order of operation you can decide to tackle the last two so let's see that one too so with that one you say okay let me let me deal with this two first so then that will be negative 1 plus 199 remember this is a negative number so we have negative 1 plus 199 so you are going to get 198 if you don't want it to confuse you, you can rewrite this as 199 negative 1. And that will give you 198. Okay. So 200. So now the sign which comes here is going to be plus. Because we've done away with this, the negative which was here. So the new sign here is going to be plus. So 200 plus 198 is going to also give us 398.